Uh, Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, Roy Orbison, the Everly Brothers. I thought you didn't like the good old boys. The only thing that's good about them is their music. That one you have to listen to it 24 hours a day. This is my sister, Lanchie. My name's Jen. You defended son? Yes. Ah, oh, I guess there really is a new world order in the Chinese fight for the Vietnamese. Okay. Okay, you win. Hey, wow. You don't know what the price is? Huh? What? A job on my boat. <laughs> what if I lost? Well, then I would have given you my boat. <laughs> Thanks. But, you know, you would never lose to me, though. You know why? Because I learned my kung fu from the movies, you know? Enter the dragon, fist of fury, dragon. See so yourself taught? <laughs> well, when you graduate from your, your education camp, you got to teach yourself a lot of things. So you were in the camp, huh? We all were. That's why they would never drive us off this bay, John. We were tougher than the Vietnamese who came here before us. I mean, they were the aristocrats. We were the peasants they left behind. I mean, sure, we had the war just like them. Then we had the camps. Hmm. I mean, some of us were even born in them. But, uh, most of us. Lanchi is uh, all that's left of my family. I would have never survived without her. I remember when I got so hungry, you know, I couldn't sleep, and she was there with this bowl of rice in her hands. But, you know, she wasn't just my big sister. She was everybody. And still is. She's been through a lot, hasn't she? Yeah. And I was young enough to forget most of the war, but... Lanji. The war has left its mark on her. You want him to play something? Okay. to Vanishing Sun 2 after these messages. I'm going to talk to your sister. Okay. You play beautifully. Thank you. I'm sorry if I was rude to you earlier. You know, the Chinese and the Vietnamese have a long history of offending each other. I'm afraid the Chinese have all the history. All we have are the graveyards. Look, this isn't Vietnam. This is America. People start over here. They leave the past behind them. And what if the past won't let you go? You know, I lost my family, too. Who is that? What do you want? Peace, all right? I want to learn. Will you teach me? Teach you? Yeah. Then talk to you. 
Look, I said I was sorry. Why isn't that enough? Because we learned nothing from an apology. We want to know why your people fight us. Go on. Well, most of them have been fishing in, these, in this bay since, since they were little kids. And their daddies before them, and so on and so on. And you can't just drop your, your traps here on somebody's reef that they've been fishing for 60 years. I fish the flat, sandy bottom. But there is no kelp and no reef, maybe no life at all. And still, they harass me. Get them to meet with us, show us their reefs, and we will stay away. But nobody will talk to us. They want us to clean their fish and keep our mouths shut. They want our labor, but not our ambition. All we want is a chance to make our life better. And all they want is to chase us off the sea forever. Say, Reggie, uh, your skipper called. As seems like somebody busted one of his ribs. And Fatty Devane got his jaw busted and had to wire it shut. <laughs> Maybe that's one of life's little blessings. But you look all right. You must have done yourself some good. Well, he just kind of threw me down, and then he started in on the others. Yeah, it must have been that new slope to Chinese. He plays a good fiddle, though, that kid. This guy's amazing, Dad. This guy, he had moves like Bruce Lee, but he punches like Mike Tyson. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, you're impressed. You sit down. Gotta have something to eat. Some red beans and rice. That was your mama's favorite recipe. You know, uh, when them people first came here, your mama was still alive. And your mama had more, uh, uh, was compassion for them people than anybody. But them people didn't understand. See, you gotta harvest the ocean the same as the land. If you wipe it out, all you got left is a desert. By the time them people left, even your mama had turned against them. Well, what should we do about it, then? Well, what I'm doing, I try and give them jobs in the packing plant so they don't have to fish. Well, I'm telling you, nobody is going to stop that old man from fishing. Not with this Chinese guy around. Hmm. Well, what you got to do is you got to stay away from them people. Please. You know, your friends left her about an hour ago. Hey, something wrong, honey? Honey? You know how that sound, Chinese?